Nerd reactor. Roll out. You belong out there together. In the in the series, you you guys meet and you guys get into a fight. You and and Luke Cage. Yeah. Um, because you guys are best friends in the comics, are we going to see kind of a transition of the best friends? Well, I think that, and what Marco's done so brilliantly is that um, we're, we're, we're characters from very different backgrounds, very different ideologies. And at first, we have to work through some differences and some tension before we actually become friends and allies. And I think what we're seeing in, in, in this first season of Defenders is that relationship budding. Um, and it's, it's not always smooth sailing, you know? And that's the great thing about these shows is that they're not perfect and they try and tell the, the character relationships from a realer perspective as possible. And, you know, we're very different characters. We're very different people. And there has to be issues that are addressed before we actually go into that kind of heroes for hire companionship. And the fact that we're showing the, the birth of that friendship from the beginning, I think, makes it even more relatable. So when we get to that, that friendship, it, it's, it's more relatable and we understand it a little bit better. Because each one of you brings something to the table, this is the last question, the, you bring to the table, what does, uh, what does Danny Rand bring to this table? Oh wow, Danny! Danny brings um, so a, a, a good side of what Danny brings is a lot of uh, optimism and a lot of energy and uh, like get up and go. But then also because of that energy, he brings a lot of recklessness, a lot of vulnerability, and a lot of un, kind of unsure. Uh, behaviors and choices and you know what are you know they're they're the kind of ups and downs of you know 